isn't going to do a recipe anytime soon because of the current situation that we're in. We've got a virus which is spreading through our countries, a lot of us are on lockdown and we're only able to get out there for essentials from our food shops. This recipe, I'm hoping that you've got a lot of the ingredients in the cupboard. I know I have the ingredients. Um, my fresh produce, that is something that I'm ensuring that I'm still getting deliveries of or I'm going out and getting when I can. You know, I want to make sure that I'm staying healthy at this time. Before we start, I just want to say a massive thank you to our NHS and our carers. You are doing an absolute amazing job. You're putting yourself on the front line. You work in tiresome, long shifts, not seeing your family and your children. And I thank you for that. It is very, very much appreciated for everything you do. Thank you so much. I'd also as well like to thank our shop workers, our cleaners, our food deliveries, our postal services, our delivery couriers. You lot are keeping this country going, you're keeping us getting our supplies that we need for our everyday living. So I thank you very much for that as well. Let's get cracking with the recipe. Hi, I'm Emma with Really Simple Recipes and today I'm going to show you how to make a vegan Spanish omelette. The ingredients that we're using for this omelette are as follows. So we have some nutritional yeast. We have your silken tofu, so this is your 349 gram tofu. We have some turmeric, and this is just for the colour, that's not included for flavour. We've got your black salt, your mixed herbs, soy milk and some gram flour. And we also have some diced tomato, some chopped garlic, diced onion and diced courgette. And just behind me we have some potato on the hob. Um, I'm just doing that on the hob separately just to get it nice and soft because it's going to take a little bit longer just to do that and I want to make sure that that's ready to go. So we'll get cracking with this recipe. Let's get this on. First of all. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil in there as well. I know that you guys are probably thinking, oh, you don't like using olive oil, you like using water. For this, I feel you need olive oil because we want to get those ingredients lovely and caramelised, lovely and brown and um, ready for this omelette. So we're going to start first with your courgettes. We're going to start browning these off. Let's put it in there. And so we do want to get nice and brown. So in. Now can you see other ones? I think we've got them all there. Okay. Let's get that browning up. Put some, some ingredients out the way so we've got some room. If it is that you haven't had an omelette since you became vegan and this is something that you'd be willing to try, please let me know in the comments. I'm very interested to see if people have tried different versions of omelettes before. So this is the first time for me. I made it a couple of weeks back. Uh, and I've been vegan now nearly six years and I really love this recipe, it's really, really nice. And I add a little bit of oil in there. And now we're going to add in our onion. in our garlic. Give that a good stir around. As I say, we want this to be lovely and brown. We really want to caramelise those ingredients. I wish I had smell of it because the smell of this garlic is just beautiful and it's looking really, really nice. And garlic is such an amazing thing to be eating right now. It's really good to boost your immune system, um, which is what we all need to be doing right now, is making sure we're getting some good, healthy ingredients inside of us. Just make sure if you need to, that you're just packing that oil up. You don't want to 
drawer I can. And you can that a mix round. That is looking really, really good now. That is looking how I want it. Lovely and brown. Lovely and caramelized. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle in some mixed herbs. Generous. Sprinkle them in. I'm just going to give that a good mix. How nice that is looking. It smells delicious. Okay, I'm just going to pop in here as well our potatoes. Let's get them. Give them a bit of mix and herbs. Nice. Now I'm going to turn that off and pop that to one side while we make the omelette filling. So first we're going to pop in our tofu. I'm not going to bother the drying it out or pressing it, I'm just going to put it in as it is. The liquid is absolutely fine in this one. Let's pop that in there. Satisfying squelchy sound. <laughs> oh gosh. Let me come out. There we go. Uh, pop in our black salt. Just whack it all in there. She says is it stuck in the bottom of the thing? Turmeric. Put it in there. Ground flour. Soy milk and also your nutritional yeast so you're looking for a good couple of heaped teaspoons for this and be very generous with it it's a really nice added flavor and all we're going to do now is a split set up <laughs> ready to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove these ingredients out of this pan. Just put it under the plate without dropping it everywhere. It doesn't matter about your pan being clean. That's not, that'll just add to our flavour because these ingredients are going into our omelette anyway. So just pop them around that there. Okay. Okay, we're just going to reheat that pan, making sure we've got loads of olive oil in there because we don't want our omelette to stick. Okay, so the pan's nice and hot. It should be warm anyway from previous. I'm give that a bit of squeeze around the back of my spectrum to make sure it's nice and not sticky. Okay, so we're going to start by tipping in our almond mixture. Put that all in there. Okay. Let's give that a good swizz it round. Swiss. I know you're probably thinking that's not how you do an omelette. An omelette is that you tip the mixture onto the ingredients. Unfortunately, 
With this kind of omelet, it doesn't work like that. Um, we have to do the bottom first, that way we make sure we get that bottom nice and cooked, uh, ready for when we add in the ingredients. So I'm just going to pop all my ingredients on top. which I would have liked to have had is cheese. I would have liked some plant-based cheese on top of this and grated cheese. Um, just to give it a nice flavour on the top. Because what I'm going to do in a minute, this is setting up nicer now, is I'm going to pop this under the grill. Just to make sure it's setting. Okay, so it's looking really, really good. So I'm gonna pop it under the grill now. Okay, so that's now under the grill. So it's gonna take a couple of minutes just to brown off that top and just to make sure that that mixture is fully set. Um, so I'm just doing that now. Unfortunately, I haven't got a camera to get down there um, to film that, I do apologize. It's really easy to do, just pop it in the grill for about two, two or three minutes, just until that's browned off. Okay, so my omelet is now from under the grill, so everything is done on it. Let me just see if you can get a bit of a close-up on there for you. So you can see how it's all set, so it's looking really good. So the proof for the pudding is if it's going to come out. There you go, set lovely. I'm just get another plate, flip it again. Look at that. How fluffy and eggy and omelette does that look? That is absolutely gorgeous. And it's as simple as that, vegan Spanish omelettes. I really hope you've enjoyed this one today. Omelette is something that I've missed for such a long time and this recipe is perfect. It's so fluffy and it's got the right texture for an eggy omelette. If you have enjoyed it, do give me a like. And if it is that you want to see even more really simple plant-based recipes, do subscribe to the channel. And as well as subscribing, do make sure you're pressing that bell because that bell will notify you every time that I release a new recipe. If you've got any questions, comments, feedback, please pop that below and I will look forward to seeing them and getting back to you. Thank you for watching.